Today's project is going to not wax the hull, but I'm going to seal the hull and I'm going to use for the first time ever a polymer sealant. See, I remember what it was called this time. Uh, normally in the past, I would have uh, given the boat a quick compound and if I was going to apply any sort of uh, protectant on the hull, on the gel coat, I would have used wax, probably a Meguiar's product. And um, as far as I'm concerned, wax will only last one season. Anyways, it doesn't matter who makes it or whatever BS that they're selling you. With the, the extreme conditions of, of water splashing on the hull, especially if you use the boat as much as we do, and uh, even more importantly is the sun, the bright sun, the new V rays. It's just going to no knock it down, dull it down. So I, I'm of the thinking that you're going to have to do something every year. Now, or sorry, I should say every season to keep it up and bring it back. When we bought this boat last year, it was down in Ohio and it was in uh, covered storage, covered heated storage. So I had uh, the local guys um, take care of the hull and they, they did a beautiful job. Uh, now, uh, the fellow who did it, he wouldn't tell me. He was, he was reticent to tell me what brand of product that he used, but he did give me a little bit. I'm just motioning that way because he had a bottle there. He gave me a little squeeze bottle for touch-ups, how we say. But he wouldn't. Uh, he didn't want to give out, I guess, a trade secret or something of whatever product brand that he was using. But that's where you guys come in because this past summer, when we were doing our summer cruise 2022. Um, we found ourselves in Trentport Marina and sorry if I don't remember your name but there's a fine gentleman there with a beautiful big Sea Ray Sundancer and he uh, that boat was just gleaming just super duper so he put me on to this this is what he uses every year I'm not endorsing this product I'm not you know this is not sponsored but uh, he swears by it and the boat looked really really good so I'm gonna give it a shot and uh, we'll see how it works so it is called Jeskar finishing products and this product is called power lock plus polymer sealant protects the surface guarantees a deep wet look finish <laughs> so anyways this was uh, purchased online through the Amazon it came from all the way from the Amazon jungle and I've been hanging on to it all winter and I've been looking forward to uh, applying it so I'm gonna start the process by just like I say giving the hull a quick polish uh, I got a brand new buffing pad for my uh, wheel and so I'll just uh, bring it back up nicely and then apply this product and let's see how it goes Okay, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but I have applied the polymer sealant and I'm just letting it haze over let it sit there for about a half an hour or maybe a little bit longer and then just wipe it off with a cloth. Now how I apply it is real simple, old school. I just put the goop on the polymer, which is, it's kind of thick, uh, this brand is anyways, more wax like than anything, and I'll just put dabs of it uh, along the hull. There. Let's get the hull in the shot put dabs on it lots on the rag and then just apply it by hand now I know a lot of you guys are gonna say Paul there's machines you can get uh, cordless buffing wheels and all that stuff I know been there done that but I'm perfectly fine with doing it by hand um, I, I just I just like I like to be more connected with the boat do you know what I mean so doing it by hand I, it's just you know it's such a gorgeous beautiful sunny day here we are second week in April and it feels like it could be a June day a little bit cool in the morning but we're supposed to get up to 24 degrees Celsius today oh man that is warm it'll be like a summer day 
so it's nice to be like I say more connected with the boat doing it by hand and I'm happy with that so as I believe I just mentioned let it sit for about a half an hour maybe a little bit longer than that and then again I'll buff it off by hand now what I'm using are these microfiber cloths um, we buy these anchor girl orders them on the Amazons as well yes more more stuff come from Amazon but is it is so reasonable it's the most economical way that we have found it's called grab a rag I believe I'm showing you the picture of it right now it's a box of 75 and it's like 30 bucks or something delivered to the house 30 35 and they're they're more thin than anything they're not super thick but they do the job and uh, they say they're reusable they're cleanable um, but if they're for really nasty jobs like this to try and clean the wax out of these it's not worth it I mean they work out to like 35 cents a piece or something like that so we uh, just toss them now I will use them right to the end of their life trust me um, when I'm done this if there's like really grummy stuff that I want to use I'll use the rag so they will have no more life left in them now I used to buy them at retail a bag at you know for 10 15 dollars a piece for 10 um, so that was you know it was getting up there and it was wasteful whereas these things they do the job they have no edges on them also so they don't bind up as much as the one that have that really thick sewn edge and they're good and it got, does a good job I'm very happy with it I'm just looking down at the part that I've already started to buff and it's coming out beautiful smooth like a baby's bum <laughs> Yeah, so here we are, the finished product, and very, very happy with it. Anchor Girl actually uh, had a brief look at it as well once I was finishing my final buffing, and uh, she's really, really happy with it and su suggests that it looks better than a normal wax job. I don't know. Um, what we both think is that because the boat had such a good base this year to work off of, simply because you know it had been professionally uh, detailed over the last well last year at least and I think previous years as well so the gel coat was in really good shape to start with so what I'm doing is just bringing it back to where it was so really really happy with the results it is it is a mirror like finish super good and as well I just might want to mention again with the uh, stripes with the stripes gone um, it really cleans up the boat really gives it a modern look now if you missed that video there's a link down in the description for many of my videos anyways to my how I did it boat upgrade repair video and um, there is the whole procedure on removing the stripes and what I did to bring that back around. Now I just want to mention that again. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot of uh, internet experts who think that that there is you know a better way or faster way or whatever more efficient way of doing a job like this. Awesome. If it works for you have at it again that's why this is a not a how-to video it's a how I did it video and hopefully if nothing else it was a little bit entertaining like I said there's a link down in the description for about a hundred different projects that I've done over the years on this boat and our prior two boats and funny enough they were all sea race <laughs> okay so that's it from this one and I am off to the next thing uh, we are we're getting close to launch so I have a few more projects projects that I have to do that I want to do that are going to be done before the boat hits the water so I get to get at it and take advantage of this beautiful weather all right as always looking forward to your positive comments we'll see you on the next one cheers I keep hearing Mr. Miyagi's voice in the back of my head wax it on wax it off <laughs> hey oops Oh, I almost knocked the boat over. <laughs>